methodically train himself and get people, get a lot of people help him to train in different areas. He's kind of like a, a person of many games. That means he not only just uh, standing and um, grappling and you know, wrestling, and he's also uh, great in conditioning. And um, he's one of the fighters I always tell people, never give up. A lot of people, you know, just, and I remember uh, some fighters, they're also international fighters, but they give up easily. They're crying, they, you know, they give up, and when it is hard. You know, just a concept, even though, I, and he said, I overturn him, he still keep going. He kept going. And that is what it takes, you know, the perseverance, the endurance, the mind, the, the beautiful mind. You know, that's very, very important. And uh, Kong is one who presents something that is so valuable and so important to people and uh, for any fighters, and especially essential fighters, that's what it came from. And then uh, to not only you know, improve the games, fighting games, but also improve your health, improve your endurance, improve anything you do, and give you that, uh, that strength, the internal strength, and that mind, that's so important. Let's come talk a little bit. Well, thank you, Coach. Um, first of all, I met uh, Coach Sean at his tournament, the U.S. Opens. Uh, I mentioned it on my other tape, um, and uh, this is where I learned and I found out about Sanda, or back then we call it Sancho, which was uh, Sean's words, punching, kicking, low, middle, high, sweeping, and throwing people. And that, was, that became my, my love, and Sancho is what I represent, Chinese-style Kung Fu, martial arts and the traditional martial arts but at the same time when you're traditional you have to learn to evolve and you have to learn all the new modern stuff so um, I figure uh, I can't be around like coach teaching and going city to city and teaching which you guys are lucky to have someone like coach to be in so many different cities and you can go and learn from him uh, you know school in New Orleans Atlanta Alabama, I mean, he's all over the place. So, um, for me, I'm focusing on representing and making a bigger name for, you know, Chinese martial arts and traditional martial arts, but at the same time, the modern stuff. And so I put together a training site, Kungli.tv, and I have all my conditioning on there, all my, you know, Sanda techniques that I've learned from Coach Sean, but I modify it for MMA. So, if you want to check it out, Check it out, it's on kungli.tv, www.kungli.tv. He's the one who taught me how to evolve and told me, hey, go try Muay Thai, go try different other stuff. And But his training still today was just crazy, Shaolin style, you know. I mean, it made me feel like this is hardcore, traditional, Kung Fu, Shan Lu, get some. So what I say is, uh, you know, Kung, one of the good things about a Kung, and he's not restricted himself in one thing. You know, in Chinese martial arts, it has a lot of things. Just like Shaolin, we have 76 styles. So, so many styles. And when he was training, I remember, and I took him to fight with uh, the boxer. The one, the second, is, the, the guy is a silver set, silver medalist. And uh, the guy kicked him and punched him so hard, almost knocked him out. And he began to use these uh, <laughs> kicks. Oh, almost the guy ran away and he was so mad because he used use the kicks and seizing him and did him. Oh, it's so mad. I think Kong is one of the things about the good about Kong is he wants to learn. He's always humble to learn anything and to absorb and that's beautiful. You know? And I think you guys need to have that mind and then he collect everything and go into the game, collect everything into his TV, that TV. And I think uh, it's good, definitely good for everybody to uh, check out, and especially Chinese martial arts, because we are slightly uh, slower in, in, in a lot of people in the MMA. But that's the game over here today. However, but we need to learn from others. We need to learn from a lot of people. And uh, that's always my principle. I'm a student, I'm always want to learn. And I hope you guys want to learn too. And then all the people in China, and I'm going to also and one, a lot of people in, at the Shaolin Temple will have about 100,000 people over there to train, and I hope everybody gets a piece of it. Thank you. <laughs> awesome.